All right. Is this thing on? Yes, it is. And now David Bloom will explain the obvious. <laughs> In the 60s, Michael Crichton wrote a book about a robot that brought a bug back to Earth, a bug so dangerous that it would kill us all. NASA thought that was a good idea. <laughs> so a couple years ago, they sent a probe out into the tail of a comet to see what was in there. It's called the Stardust Mission. And what they found was glycine. Glycine is one of the 22 amino acids that are the building blocks of life on Earth. Glycine is a molecule that can replicate itself can make other molecules. What they found was an alien, possibly the progenitor of all life on Earth. <laughs> NASA announced the findings a couple of months ago, and it freaked me out, because comets come from the Oort cloud, which is a spherical cloud of trillions of comets that's like a light year past the moons of Jupiter. Comets rain down from the Oort cloud and then deposit stuff on the inner planets. So the Stardust mission finding glycine shows that Earth was colonized colonized by an entrepreneurial molecule 3.8 billion years ago. Earth was a new market for organic matter. Organic matter entered that market and it thrived here. It's us. So glycine, mom, comes to Earth and mom did what all successful innovators do. She went where she wasn't needed. And then mom did what every successful immigrant does. She got busy with the locals. So you get pond scum, you get trilobites, you get Yorkie poos that eat gelato. <laughs> what do you get when you mix a native idea and a foreign idea? You get mutts, and mutts are the very definition of success. <laughs> Every mutt is the same story. I came, I saw, and then I used my Pluteus Maximus. <laughs> Obama is a mutt. It's a mutt in a good way. Mutts are strong and smart, like mules. By combining traits, we want to improve on our ancestors. Darwin will clean up the mess. And if we succeed, well, you get the person on your right. And if she's not a clone, she could be a half Kenyan, half Kansan. She could be a half Jamaican, half Canadian. Both pretty successful. You could get Monsanto potatoes that carry fish genes. You could get chickens with way too much white meat. You could get dandelion pickles. Nature challenges us. Mom, glycine, challenges us to be immigrants and to boldly go where no one is, well, anyway. So it's the story of Microsoft and the story of DoubleClick and Google and Sun Microsystems. <laughs> These are all companies that have founders from Southeast Michigan. And they all came from the auto industry. So the, the glycine lesson, it's go west, young glycine. If you want to innovate, you've got to immigrate. You'll find success outside the comfort zone. Develop software, yeah, but not for a software company. Tune pianos, but not in Chicago. Practice law, but not at a law firm. And if you're a marketer in the marketing department of a major brand, you are at the end of your career. And if you're a bookseller, go into the patent medicine business. <laughs> hybrid cars are mutts. The word hybrid means mutt. DJ remixes are mutts. Ben Franklin, he made a big splash in France. Why? Mutt. <laughs> Braille. Braille won the War of the Dots. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai. Sorry about that. Let me tell you about my peppers. I make mutts in the garden. Uh, I took a Thai pepper, which is uh, that little guy on the left, and I mixed him with a Puraira, which is a South American pepper, kind of an earthy, meaty type of a pepper. I was looking for something that was flavorful and really, really, really hot. So both the Asian and the South American pepper are the same species. They're capsicum annuums. It's like crossing a dachshund with a St. Bernard, which is biologically feasible and anatomically impossible. <laughs> so tomorrow, or next month, you're going to be faced with a decision. You might not even recognize it as a decision, but you're going to have a choice to go with the flow or break new ground. Let's say you take mom's advice. You immigrate. You go to unfamiliar territory. Mom would be so proud. <laughs> you could be an influencer, and your ideas would inspire others. You could start a movement. You could shoot for integration. You could start a frickin' revolution. You could be Doug Lanat. Who knows Doug Lanat? 
is a computer scientist who can't seem to stay in computer science. He wrote a war game program. It kicked all the admirals' butts. The admirals were not happy about this. Not every mutt is a geek, but geeks make good nuts. So go out there and find something you've never done before. Because practicing in your own field all the time is like having sex with just one person. <laughs> Thank you.